Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, agronomy lead with Lift Grow. So we're at a cover crop meeting here today with Dr. Armstrong and Dr. Roth. And it was a great meeting, fellas. Thank you. We learned a lot about cover crops today in general and what they can do. And as you know, we're doing a lot of research on cover crops to try to understand how do we implement cover crops in our cash crop system without sacrificing yield and profitability. So Dr. Armstrong, Dr. Roth, what are a couple quick pieces of information you can give the farmer right now to help them manage those, manage their cash crop in the cover crop system? Yeah, so I think uh, two really critical components are termination timing as well as understanding your biomass level. So if you're gonna grow cereal rye before corn, you wanna try and make sure you terminate at least two weeks before you plant your corn. Uh, and then also, you know, not only that, but you should consider your biomass level prior to termination. And so we wanna try and stay below about a ton of biomass per acre. So if you can do your best to terminate before you get to that point, I think that that will help reduce some of the, the penalties. So, that we see. so for the farmers, what's a half a ton to a ton of cereal rye look like? Yeah, so uh, a half ton to a ton of cereal rye is uh, anywhere between um, 8 to uh, 14 inches tall uh, would be my recommendation. So get it terminated before it gets 8 to 14 inches tall. Yeah, correct. A good, a good threshold is knee high. Yeah. You want to get it before it's knee high. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So secondly, uh, based on research, we know that cereal rye has a high seeding ratio of residue, meaning carbon, carbon to nitrogen. So with that, cereal rye is doing its job. It's going to take up nitrogen, put it into its system, its biomass, but it gives it back slowly. So you want to offset some of that nitrogen immobilization and tie-up with starter uh, on the planter. So based on our research over uh, multiple sites and years, we found that if you add about uh, 45 to 50 pounds per acre uh, or above at starter two by two, right, uh, you have a better chance of getting competitive yields where you have cereal rye. Secondly, if you have to implement and have the ability, the capacity to do spring strip till, what you're doing is in the cover crop before you terminate, go in uh, with your strip till and come back and hit that with your planter with your RTK guidance. You're going to create a better seed bed uh, and possibly allow the soil to dry out and air out, uh, air out so that you can get good seed placement. So Great advice, both of you, thank you. Last follow-up question, a lot of these new strip-till rigs, some of them have the capability to also put on starter fertilizer while you're doing that. Would that be a good approach too? Certainly, certainly. Okay. All right, well thank you folks for listening and thank you. I appreciate it all.